Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. And I'm here today just to uh, do like a continuation of our um, romantic, uh, what did I call it? <laughs> the romantic, shabby romantic journal. That's what I called it. Anyway, um, I had talked to you the last time when I was talking about my process for decorating. And um, I told you that I was going to have to redo the actual cover. And that's what I'm going to work on today. Um, I already did one of these. And I thought, well, why not just bring you guys along to uh, do the second one? Um, that way you can see what I did. Um, I had made these covers last year. And I had no idea what I was going to put in them. And um, let me get the other one so I can show you issue with it is um, there's nothing really wrong with the cover except for the fact that I really made it um, for just like I was just going to make like a little 10 page uh, kind of a planner type thing in here and now I've kind of changed it to something completely different to where um, it's going to have a lot of embellished change uh, pages and embellishments in it so um, it's just not going to work as is. I, it needs a bigger spine because the spine in this is really, really small. Um, probably about an eighth of an inch. It's basically just folded over. So it's just not going to work for what I want to use it for now. But that doesn't mean I can't use this uh, cover anymore. So... I'm going to show you my fix, and that way you can um, think about this um, if you ever make a journal and um, like a hardcover journal or even a soft covered sometime, you could maybe not make the spine big enough. Because I know a lot of times I hear all these people talk about how they've made their journal and then it ends up being just way, way, <laughs> way too much gator mouth. This one's still going to be, I mean, there's no avoiding it. Um, these are the pages that I've done so far, and I still have five more pages to put in here and the embellishments, and I'm going to kind of show you on this one what I did. I ended up making a fabric spine, and I'm just going to kind of show you how I did all that, and um, just I, I just think that there's some people that may be in that situation. Um, so you've got a hard cover and a and basically a fabric spine and it's not loose because I have a lot in there but um, this will fit in here now a lot better okay and with everything in it it will be just you know the perfect size for this okay um, and it's still gonna be you know a, a chunky journal but it at least will work okay <laughs> So before it was just like, there's no way this is going to work. But anyway, let me kind of show you uh, what I did and how I did it. And um, maybe it will help some people. Let me move this. Okay. The first thing I had to do is I am going to have to cut this in half. Okay. Um... This was kind of having to be repaired anyway because um, it had um, cracked a little bit over here. So I was going to have to do something on the outside and the inside anyway, and I, but I was waiting till after I sewed in my signatures. But now that I'm making this larger, it's not. It's going to be fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my tassel and my little. Uh, thing here off. So I hope everybody's doing well and having a good day. The weather here is really nice. After I do my video, I'm gonna try and go for a walk. We're getting to the point where our winter is kind of like January, late December, January. So our weather, I mean, not that the weather here is ever really super cold for, for long, but it can get cold. All right, so I will put these back on later, but um, 
are just going to be in the way now. Put that over, I don't know, over here. Okay, I could take these ties off, but I'm just going to leave them on. I don't think they're going to be a problem. All right, so what I'm going to do is I made these like six inches across. And, or actually, let's see. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, just a little little bit under six so and they're even on both sides so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this is my middle right here and I know that that's even because when I hold this down I mean I made I made the cover even so I am gonna cut this just right down the middle and luckily I did not put my um, eyelet okay I did not put my eyelet right in the middle so and if I did I could take it out and uh, where uh, we could fix it so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and I'm just gonna use my scissors um, this was made with uh, scrap bag paper and I think it had a, a heavier stock scrap bag paper and then I collaged over it okay and I used uh, I I'm trying to think what I use. Mod Podge, I believe. And then I had gesso on top of it. And on the inside is another lighter weight scrapbook paper. So it's, you know, it's a pretty hard cover. Um, so, you know, it's a little flexible, but not really a lot. And that's why it's kind of cracking a little. So this is actually going to make it sturdier. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right down the middle. I should be able to cut it with my scissors. If not, I've got some heavier duty ones. But I'm gonna try and get it as, as far in the middle as I can. Okay. Start the other way. And I'm just trying to stay right on that line that's kind of already scored, so that tells me that I'm in the middle. And if it's off a little, I can trim it up. It'll be fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just need to get it apart. Okay. It's harder to get it toward the middle, so I have to, I don't, I'm trying not to break it. All right, there we go. That's good. And there's some loose ends on there a little bit, but I'm going to trim those up a little. We won't see those in the end. They will be covered. But I still would like them not to be there. Do that on this one. Now this one has like a little ridge. And I think I'm going to try and get most of that off so it doesn't mess this up. And that was really what the spine consisted of, is like about probably an eighth of an inch or something. I mean, I scored it, but it wasn't that much. And that's the only problem with doing your covers ahead of time, is that you don't necessarily always know what you're going to use them for. But Okay, so now I have my two halves, okay? And... Now, I've, it's kind of cut my little, this is my little pocket. I'll have to work with that. And then um, this one. So this is this side and this is this side. So that's, I'm going to put that down like that. Um, what I've done is I have some material here. This is just a cotton uh, kind of duck cloth. And then this is um, the stuff that you use for, uh, like embroidery or whatever. So I've got that. And then I've got some Tyvek. And I want the Tyvek to go in between because even though it's going to be a cloth spine, I want it to have a little stiffness to it. And this will add um, sturdiness to, you know, it, it'll pretty much be indestructible at that point. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I mess with this is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a sandwich of uh, my different materials that I'm using. And this is basically going to be my spine. I have made this three inches. And the reason I've done that 
is I've got an inch here and an inch here. I want my spine to be one inch, okay? But I want enough of this material on each side in my on my book or my journal to make it whole make it sturdy. If I just if I only had just like a you know a fourth of an inch or something, it probably would not hold it all that well. Okay. So I've got an inch in the middle and an inch on each side. Okay. So, so I made it three inches to have a one inch spine. Okay. My Tyvek is a little bit smaller. Um, I think it was like two and a half. Uh, I didn't really measure it. So let me see. Yeah, it's about two and a half. So, and that's so it'll be in the middle. And the reason you want, the Tyvek is mainly for when you're sewing your signatures so that it'll stay in there and be very sturdy, okay? And that is what that's going to afford us there. And then this is really more for show. I didn't want to just put this in. Um, this is going to be the outside. This is going to be the inside. I didn't want that just to, to be what you see on the inside. So then I'm going to put that on, okay? So, and on top of that, I'm going to put some lace. So I'm going to go ahead and... There was one thing I was thinking. Let me look at something real quick. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this or not, but... I thought about, instead of putting this on, because I thought the other one looked a little thick... I just don't like the whiteness of the Tyvek. Oh, you can still see through it too much with the lace on top. Let me see. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe that'll be okay. <coughs> I might do that. Because I will show you on this one. See, and that's the good thing about when you do things. Um, when I do multiples... It doesn't look bad, but I think it looks kind of, well, I don't know. It might not look that bad. Because by the time you put that in there, you won't really be able to tell. I don't know. I'm going to try it this way and see if I like it better. Okay, so if I change my mind, You can really see through that, though, quite a bit. But I'm thinking if you have lace over it, too, right? You can't see it that much afterwards. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go back to how I was doing it. I don't want you to be able to see the Tyvek as the point. This is just really to cover that. And I got a lightweight material because I didn't want it too thick on the inside. I could have just used another piece of this, um, but that's okay. Anyway, so all I'm going to do is just put my glue on here first. On my Tyvek. Okay, because all I'm doing is I'm gluing that on. And I'm just going to be sandwiching these, um, this to it. Okay, I'm just going to take my little spreader thing. Okay, so I am just going to kind of get this centered in the middle. I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to eyeball it. And as I said, the main thing is... Um, you're doing this to reinforce it for when you tie, when you sew in your signature. Okay, so then this is going to go right on top of that, okay? So, anyway. And the reason I put this uh, duck cloth or whatever on the bottom is that it's a little bit stronger. And that's what's actually going to be adhering to the journal cover itself. So, so I am going to get this on closer to the edge a little bit there because it's a little bit wider than the Tyvek. So. And if I have to go in and do a little touch-up later on, I can. I'll have um, 
a little bit of room in there to do that. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this, and I left the fraying on the edges, so if it shows a little bit, then that's fine. I like that. So, again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it and putting it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. All right. Now, there is going to be some lace on that, but I don't, I don't mess with that right now. Okay, so that is our sandwich that we made. And the thing is about this, this is, even though it is fabric, it's still got a little bit of stiffness to it because of the Tyvek that we put in there. Okay, so that's that makes it very sturdy. Now, one thing I might do differently than I did on the other one is that I put this in... Um, on top of that and I may just take this and put it like that because I think I like how that would look better although I don't know when I put this on top how's that gonna look yeah it doesn't look that great because I already had these pockets and I still want them Okay, so I guess I'll do it on the outside. I think it'll look better on the outside. Maybe that's why I decided that on the other one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I am going to line up my cover to where this bottom of my cover is on a line on my mat. This is, it, you know, if you have a mat, if not, use a ruler or straight edge or something. So let me get down lower so that maybe, okay, so this is lined up right here. And then I'm going to take my one inch in between. I'm going to, I'm going to take this and line it up on this side. Okay. As straight as this is, this is not super straight. I could fix that a little bit. It'll be all right. So I'm lining this up on this line and I'm lining it across the bottom line. So, all right. And then I'm going to get a one inch difference in between the two. And I'm going to do the same to the other piece. That's going to be there and that's going to be there. And part of the reason this looks so crooked is that this is the one that has the uh, embellishments on the front so it doesn't lay flat. So this is going to go right here, line it up on the bottom and line it up there, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take glue and I'm going to end up having to put more glue later. And this thing will move, but you're always going to keep trying to keep it lined up. And I'm going to put a big old thing of glue right here and realize that my eyelet's right there and I'm going to be going over my eyelet, but that's okay because I will be able to fix that later. And I'm just going to make sure I get plenty of glue knowing that I'm going to have to add more glue later, okay? Because I don't have it in far enough. It's a one-inch area that I'm trying to cover. And I know this. Here's my end right here, and here's my inch. But I'm not going all the way to the end because I don't want it to come squirting out. Don't go there. Here we go. I'm going to spread it around a little, but not too much. Okay. All right, now I'm going to just take, make sure this is lined up. I've got it lined up on the bottom, lined up here, lined up on these lines, okay? And this is just to ensure that you're putting it in there, right? So this is my back, this is my front, and I'm going to put this on knowing that I'm covering about an inch. I know that this end needs to go to this inch mark right here. And I'm going to put that down. Okay, now I'm going to make sure this is lined up again. And then make sure this is lined up. And I'm going to put this down. Okay. Now, the thing about it is, as I take it and I'm going to turn it around... I'm going to make sure that the bottom, this edge is lined up straight, and this edge. See, I don't think it is. Let me see. I can tell you right now, I think it's off a tiny bit. So I'm going to turn it over so I can see it. Yep. Okay, so 
let's see what we got here. Is that an inch? Yeah, that's the tiniest bit difference, okay? I'm gonna move this over. Yeah, that's straighter now. And it was just the tiny, tiny bit, but the, you can tell because you're using your measurements here. So if you wanted a two inch spine, you'd have a two inch gap, okay? And that is pretty much the way you can keep it lined up on there and get it in there straight. Even though I know this is not straight, I know that there's an inch here, there's an inch here, and there's an inch in the middle now because I have, I've made sure I had an inch here, an inch here. So my spine is gonna be an inch all the way across. All right, so I am gonna try and let that dry a little bit as I work on it. Normally, if I was just doing it myself, I would let that dry before I keep playing with it, but we are going to add our, um, and the other thing to do too here, we're gonna add our um, lace to the inside. Take it and fold it in half, crease it, you know, with your hands, and just see if it looks straight to you. I mean, you'll be able to tell just by looking at that, okay? And these little pieces right here, this isn't going to matter because we're going to end up covering this up. Um, but you just, I'm holding the end here and here, and I know that, that that looks pretty straight. So we've added basically a new spine, and that's how easy it was. So um, this is a way that you can also do if you have old book covers you want to use, but the spine is not big enough. Um, this is a way to easily add a spine to it um, if you don't want to use a hard spine. And I kind of sometimes don't necessarily like a hard spine because, okay, that looks weird. It cannot be off, is it? It doesn't look off at all. Maybe this one's off on the bottom. Okay, let me see. I have to line it up here so I can tell. Hmm. I'm going to try and line it up again to make sure. Okay, there we go. That's better. You do have a little bit of time when you work with this glue, so I don't think... Let me see. Is that exactly an inch? Let me make sure this one is on. Mm, that one is. I think it just... I think I cut my material crooked. I don't think it has to do with the fact that there's an inch in between the two that's wrong. I think my material's actually crooked. Okay. Make sure we're all good. That edge and that edge line up. That edge and that edge line up. Okay, well, I think we're good. Let that dry. In the meantime, um, I am gonna put my lace on there, and this is just decorative. It doesn't have any other purpose. I'm just gonna put this over that. And I'm doing it now mainly because um, I intend to sew this. Let me get my other. Oh, the scissors are gone. Oh, there they are. And I'm going to let it overhang a tiny bit, but not too much. And this is to kind of make it blend in to what um, I had done before. So I just have some lace here. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to cut the top a little bit. Okay, I think that'll work now. Now, in doing that, the reason, make sure that's down. These ends are not in. Remember I told you I wasn't going over the full inch? So I'm going to take my glue now. And I just find it easier to do it this way after. Because um, that way I don't go over to begin with. And I'm just going to make sure I get all of that nice and glued down. 
I'm going to do that on the other edge. I've got about a half an inch, well, probably not that much even, that I need to glue in. Make sure it's all glued down. I don't know why that doesn't have any glue. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to make sure it's all glued. And so then I'm going to put this on. All right, let me see. That still looks off to me. I don't know if I should move it over or not. Just the tiniest bit. Let me see. Yeah, let me try that and see if it still seems like it matches. That looks a little better. Move that this way. I'm going to measure it. Yeah, I think it was off. It must have moved again. I'm going to move that over and move this out. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. <clears throat> Now, when this dries, I am going to sew it. I did it on the other one. I sewed down here, and then I sewed down here. I just don't, I wait till my glue is completely dry before I sew it. Okay, so now I'm going to take, let me see, this lace, and I'm going to make sure I have glue kind of, just kind of over it enough to hold it all down. This is strictly for show. It has no other purpose. And then I'm going to put that in there. And all this is going to do is kind of cover this and make it kind of blend into what I've already done on here. I don't know what stuck to that. Let me get it wiped over here. So anyway, I've had kind of a weird day. I just kind of was moving slow this morning and then I was thinking I was going to get in here earlier, but I ended up doing a lot of stuff around the house, which is good because then I don't feel as guilty about being in here, but um, it's very crooked right on that side. It, it doesn't need to be perfect, but I don't want it to make it look lopsided. Okay, and then that looks a little off too. Okay, so that's really all I'm going to do with that. Let me get my white and get that put down. So this is all going to stay glued together. Now, when this is done, um, I am going to, on the outside, I'm going to wait until after I sew in my signatures, but I have this other lace that I'm going to put just i'm going to sew in my signatures and then this lace is going to go right here so this will just be right there so you won't even really see the white um it'll be you know underneath that but that's all you're going to see okay so um i think that is actually going to make it look you know even better than it did now we have this hole here or non-hole because we had our eyelid up here. And all I'm gonna do with that is I am gonna just, and I normally would wait till this is dry. I'm just gonna punch a hole through that. Um, this with this is a little uh, thing you use for beads, but you could use your awl or whatever. And I'm just gonna punch a hole through that with this and then go ahead and put my bulb pin in and do everything as I, I would have anyway, okay? So see this part that's rough right there? 
when we put this, we're going to sew in our signatures, okay? And then when I'm done sewing in my signatures, I'm going to put this on so you won't even see that portion, okay? That'll be completely covered up. So there you go. Um, and, you know, you could add more here. You could have added, I could have put this down here. I could still do that if I wanted to, to make it look, you know, a little fancier or something. Um, but the point is that that is how we uh, made our cover, you know, um, usable. And I'll show you on the other one. On the other one, I also added, I added um, some papers on the inside because I didn't really like the paper that I had put there, so I kind of camouflaged it. Um, but I did sew um, on each side, okay? And that, I mean, this thing's not going anywhere. I can tell you that right now. And I can show you what I did is I punched another hole in there. I put another bulb pin. I put just a little um, jump ring. I like putting the jump ring on there just because it, the tassel and stuff kind of hangs better. But anyway, so I did that, and you can see that's what you get. And you have plenty of room now for your new your new uh, your new uh, pages and stuff in there, and you've done it pretty easily. I mean, it's not that hard. I don't think. But, um, so that is that. That's what we're going to do. That is how, um, I'm going to make it bigger. So this will, again, when I sew, I'm going to wait till I sew in my signatures. I don't want to mess with it now. And then this will go on the end, just like that, which I think actually will make it look even better. It brings more of the pink in. So, and that's how it'll look. I mean, I think it's perfect now. I even like where the dangles are on this. It's more off to the side rather than in the back. So, I think that that's going to look really good. And that worked. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I had for today.